All right, life update. Got this bad boy in working business. Feels great, man. Um, all this stuff was free pretty much. I paid a buck fifty for the hardware. Um, look at that graffiti. What a cool guy with a graffiti background. <laughs> Yeah, I just kind of wanted to have a cruiser. My idea now is to go to the Hillsborough Skate Dot. I've always wanted to skate that. Uh, so I think I'm going to go out there. And then I guess I'll go to the coast that way. I'm at the Hillsborough Skate Dot. This is the spot. Uh, I just busted a bearing. So this is probably pretty dangerous. So, aside from that kind of sucking, they have these sprinklers, because it's so hay ridden down here, they've got to really pump the water, and they all flow into the skate park at like different times, and so right now this sprinkler is on, and it's not too bad, it cuts off this route, but it's like a really small park, and before I was here an hour or two ago, and that entire side right there was completely wet this whole thing was soaked uh, so these it's like a total puzzle for me I'm not gonna skate this right now even though I really want to because it's just not right you see they're doing like a lot of construction out here before I came here none of this was around uh, so I was like that's a pretty good spot over there to get a long lens shot it, it's kind of long lensy because it's like really flat It's worth filming manuals that way because uh, you can, can't even really tell you're doing a manual except for the wobbliness. I'm not that good of a skater. Uh, I, like I said, I haven't been skating in a long time, like three or four months. And on top of that, I just suck in general. A lot of people uh, are wondering, they ask me, why did you quit skating? Actually, nobody asked me that. I asked myself that. I actually don't ask myself that. But I did step away from the board for a while. And uh, I really miss it. And it's fun. But it does kind of suck your time up. You kind of become uh, sort of like a possessive adult crackhead baby. Uh, I really want somebody to help me film lines, like, I'm, I'm really into trying lines. So if you're a line filmer, if you're smooth as butter, hit me up.
out. <laughs> Did I get out of poker? I don't think so. My bearing is totally janked. I think I will be a better skater if I get it fixed. Here I'm dropping this. Damn, that's a man, one damn, that's a man, one damn, that's a man, one damn, that's my anthem. Be the boss, man, I am Tony Danza. Damn, that's a man, one damn, that's my anthem. Be the boss, man, I am Tony Danza. So we're gonna go surf. It's really hot. recommendation is go in earlier than 3 p.m. to the waves. Uh, it was still a good time. And we went to uh, Cannon Beach Skate Park and got some clips. Um, oh, I street skated a lot this morning in Seaside. I'd rate Seaside as a 6 out of 10 in terms of Skate City. It's got some new concrete, it's got a boardwalk, but there's a lot of sand. There's some spots that look like spots, but don't slide. Bring your wax. Bring your wax, wax up some spots. Um, there's lots of closed things too, like municipal centers and churches. I did get yelled at by a lady. I'm not sure if she worked for a church. Uh, she was just sweeping up outside. It's hard to tell if some people are just crazy street people and yelling at you or if they're legitimate civilians, uh, concerned citizens with identification and tax numbers and such that um, will call the sheriff on you. As far as um, sort of like comfortability, uh, Cannon Beach is way way more sucky I don't know what it is like they both have tourists I just like the vibe and seaside a little bit better um, but I like the skate park in Cannon Beach better uh, there's way more cops in Cannon Beach and uh, there just seems like way more freedom in seaside first night I was in Cannon Beach I got the knock at one in the morning a cop told me I couldn't be sleeping somewhere about blah, blah. In Seaside, I went to somewhere that was kind of questionable, too, because that's just how I roll. I like to sleep in places that seem illegal to sleep at. And, um, yeah, nobody gave me any problems. Uh, some older guy rolled up on me and asked me for a good spot. And I told him, go to this, go to this place. And it was the first time I, I gave an older guy advice. Uh, so, hashtag van life, Nomadland, Francis McDormand, that Santa Claus guy with a beard that lives out in an RV, Steve, or whatever his name is. Shout out all you motherfuckers. And so when I went surfing, I showed up and the waves were pretty flat, but when I went in, I had a pretty good time. I caught several sets of waves, very tiny pinner waves, um, but it was a good vibe. 
Uh, I'm still having some issues with my boots, but they work well enough. My biggest problem is my hands are getting too cold, so I only last about 20 minutes. I think I lasted 25 there. Um, I was really trying to summon up my urine for warmth, but for some reason I've actually been better, and um, I don't know, I haven't been having like quite as many problems with that, so God bless. Uh, I just made some food. Sorry all of these are in the car, it's just easier like sound-wise and comfort-wise. I'm going to try to do more recaps, just like not in the car for variety's sake. Um, but if you like me talking, this is kind of the best that it gets. Uh, I don't really know what my general plan is. There's uh, an actual skater there, uh, skateboarding. Oh shit.